If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, let y be the vector 4, 8, 1. u1 be the vector 2 thirds, 1 third, 2 thirds, and u2 be the vector minus 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 1 third. And we'll let w be the span of u1 and u2. First, let u be the matrix that has u1 and u2 as columns. Compute u transpose u and u u transpose. Then, compute the projection onto w of y and the product u u transpose times y. Smash that like button and let's get started. So we'll start by evaluating the product u transpose times u, where u is the matrix formed by u1 and u2 as their columns. When we do this multiplication out, we get 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the identity matrix. And we had a theorem that said if u transpose times u equals the identity matrix, then the columns of u which are u1 and u2 in this case, form an orthonormal basis for the subspace that they span, which we call w in this example. So u1, u2 is an orthonormal basis for w. We'll now compute u times u transpose. Again, this is just matrix multiplication. We get the 3 by 3 matrix, 8 ninths, minus 2 ninths, 2 ninths, minus 2 ninths, 5 ninths, 4 ninths, 2 ninths, 4 ninths, 5 ninths. Now notice that our matrix is its own transpose, and that should always be the case. So we want to compute the projection onto W of Y. Well, since u1, u2 is orthonormal, we have this expansion. We could compute the dot product u1 dot y, that's 6, and u2 dot y is 3. So we add these vectors together, and we get the vector 2, 4, 5. And our theorem says this should be the same vector as when you multiply u, u transpose times y. So we're just verifying that we got the right solution. So we write out u, u transpose, multiply it to the vector y, which is 4, 8, 1. And you can see we get 2, 4, 5, as expected. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.